Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Stallings, you know me here on YouTube as MarauderyX, and as always I'm your host for Operation Recap, where I some from OperainFall.com, and I share them off here on YouTube because I'm the YouTube guy, I make YouTube videos, and uh, some, some shameless self-promotion going on is when you're done watching this video, go, go check out my other stuff, because, yay. Um, also go check out the other stuff I do on, you know, this channel, I, I do a lot of videos, because I like doing videos. Uh, anyway, as always, I've taken three stories from Off Rainfall, and I'm gonna share them here on YouTube. So, uh, first off, first story for the week, uh, Legend of Zelda Wii U delayed until 2016. Uh, this story physically pained me when I read it. Uh, I read it last night. I don't know what the time frame is gonna be like between then and when this video goes up. I'm not, I, time is not something that I can focus on at the moment. Uh, series producer released a video statement containing, uh, that... 2015 is no longer the game's number one priority, and that the scope and scale of the project has become larger that uh, would allow for that release. Basically, they've got a lot of ideas that they want to put out, and it's taken them longer, uh, is, is the, the gist of the video. And while, you know, Nintendo has a very, very well-known policy about releasing top-quality product, they do not rush, they do not do patches, they don't do that. Uh, this announcement has got people a little concerned uh, considering the recent announcement of Nintendo's NX. There's concern that this game is going to be a simultaneous release, much like Twilight Princess was on the GameCube and Wii. So, it's hard to say, it's a little early, but um, would not surprise me at all. Just like a delay didn't really surprise me, I mean... The announcement of the Zelda game at E3 kind of blindsided everyone, and then such a close release date from its blindsiding uh, teaser trailer. <laughs> it's uh, not not surprising that it's been pushed back. Uh, here's hoping that it stays Wii U exclusive, because, you know, gotta show the Wii U a little bit of love. The rest of the stories are Nintendo news, so more Nintendo news. Second story is uh, Sakurai says uh, Mewtwo is uh, almost done. Uh, Masahiro Sakurai, uh, in a video interview, said that he's pretty much done and coming soon, which I'm looking forward to because this looks to be the only piece of DLC that Smash Brothers is going to get is going to be Mewtwo and the Nintendo social media-esque stage that they uh, talked about. Really surprising because I went into this game expecting a lot of DLC, you know, extra characters, stages, music, but it seems that this is going to be the only piece compared to, like, Hyrule Warriors and Mario Kart 8 that got lots of DLC. So, really surprising, but I'm looking forward to taking the Psychic Pokemon out for spin. I mean, it's been a while since I've played Melee, so looking forward to it. And the last story for this week is Majora's Mask Special Edition New 3DS's possibly being restocked. Uh, there was a rumor going around that uh, a couple of retailers were going to be getting it and that you could pre-order it through them and to do it quickly because they didn't look like they were getting a lot of stock. And then some of that information was confirmed through other retailers that yes, they are getting some. Yes, it's going to be very limited. It's not entirely sure that it's going to be, you know, every store, but maybe certain stores are going to get it. Uh, so it's... It seems to be a little bit easier to get than previously uh, previously thought. Uh, I also track a bunch of game collecting uh, communities, and the number of people who are surprised at being able to track one of these down even today is is surprising. Most special edition consoles like this, you once it's done with the first week, it's it's not findable unless you want to pay an arm and a leg for it on eBay. So the fact that there are still some of these out in the wild uh, gives a little bit of hope that, you know, if you wanted to pick up a new 3DS and you wanted to do it in style and get a really snazzy-looking, creepy mask uh, version of the new 3DS, uh, you could pick up the Majora's Mask edition. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of interested in a, a new 3DS myself, and I kind of like this one. The only thing that I would like better than this is maybe a Xenoblade one, because... Uh, just gotta show that game some love. Gotta keep doing it. 
So yeah, that has been the stories this week. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on any of this. Are you looking for a Majora's Mask 3DS? Is it, you know, that the only one that you're going to buy? Uh, excited about Mewtwo or kind of bummed that there are no DLC for, no more DLC for Smash Brothers than this? And uh, let me know your thoughts on Zelda Wii U and it being delayed. Do you think it's going to be in the next title? This is just a, a way to transition? Or is it just they bit off more than they could chew with an open world game. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your feelings on these stories and anything else that we may have talked about at Rainfall this week. Let me know. Curious. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go play some games and I will see you guys next week. Till then, later everyone.